January the 28th, 1954, Philadelphia middleweight Joey Giardello fights Garth Panter of Salt Lake City. There's Giardello in the black trunks out of his corner in Madison Square Garden. Now these are two powerful punchers. Both of them 23 years old. Panter in the white trunks is just 12 days younger than his opponent. But look out for Giardello. Joey is seeking a shot at Bobo Olson's middleweight crown and he's as tough as they come. He's one of the top contenders for the world title. Very good close ups here. Give us that right down in row one atmosphere. They have a chance to study the styles of the two fighters. Panter uh, likes to throw those left leads. Giardello lets go with his solid left hooks. He's a very good left hooker. Referee Al Burrow. Giardello's punches definitely carry more authority. Beautiful right uppercut. Note that Giardello can uh, hook beautifully with the left as well as jab with it. Panter and White fighting more from a crouch. Giardello, in contrast, is more of a stand-up boxer. That's the end of the round. Out comes Garth Panter. He's in the white trunks, the Salt Lake City boy, who looks very much like a college fullback. No one has ever knocked uh, Garth off his feet. He's coming along fast in the middleweight division, but Giardello is probably the ruggedest citizen he's ever met. Giardello has dynamite in either fist. Garth and White pressing the attack. It's a fast pace this early in the fight. Notice that Giardello in black, he's being warned now for hitting low by referee uh, Al Burrow. He likes to let uh, Panther uh, do most of the leading and then counter. But Panther's style is to crowd forward. He's not a fancy Dan. Giardello very dangerous with his counters. And those looping right hands have to be respected. Joey landing some effective hooks to the body and chin. Mixes his style up well, alternates the jab with the hook.
Dart still leading. Still trying to pile up points. To offset uh, Giardello's heavier socks. Giardello and Black does very little infighting. He likes to catch his man coming in. Once in, he waits for the referee to break him up. That's the end of the round. Here's Panter in the white trunks coming out against Philadelphia's Joey Giardello. But that previous round shook him up a bit. He lost it on all the official scorecards, of course. And Giardello is very brave now that he's aware that he has a decided edge, he can gamble more. Pander is crouching a bit more than before, trying to change his style against Joey's power. Previous to this, he'd been leading right into it. Panter, too, you can see, has noticeably slowed down since the opening rounds. Several good exchanges. attention to the left jabs, takes them and tries to whack away at the body. putting on a rally near the end of the round. Giardello in the black trunks. And this is to be the climax of the fight before the round is one minute old. Panter will be on his way to a finish. You can see that Giardello is full of poise and confidence. He's ready to uncork everything he's got to justify his rating as the number three middleweight of the world. A good hard right is the punch that starts Panter reeling. Crowd is electrified. Giardello is pouncing on him. The crowd senses the kill. The referee 
cautions Giardello for spinning his man. But watch the finish now, as dramatic as they come. The referee stops the fight. Dark Panther was helpless against the ropes, and that's where it ended. A technical knockout by Joey Giardello in 1 minute 16 seconds of the fifth round in Madison Square Garden.